conference. Let's take a quick look. Between the Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces, uh, which was on April 15th. Um, thereafter, uh, just to give you a flavor of the ground situation, uh, several times ceasefires have been declared from both sides. Uh, many of those ceasefires were not honored. Some of them were honored partially. <clears throat> the last ceasefire uh, announced of 72 hours is holding by and large, but there have been uh, there has been feedback of some uh, sporadic firing and fighting going on in some parts of Khartoum. Uh, also, uh, as a result of that, the situation on the ground remains highly volatile, uh, with the, as I said, conflicting report of claims coming from both sides. Um, so when we talk about Operation Kaveri, you, uh, you know, naturally there would be a, a degree of focus on number of Indians who are stuck in Sudan, how many have come back, how many we are planning to bring back, which is uh, a very significant and probably the most important consideration for government of India. But uh, I would uh, also suggest to you to keep in mind the ecosystem in which this exercise of assisting and bringing back the standard Indians is taking place. And the ecosystem comprises of, as I said, highly volatile uh, conflict zone situation in Sudan, uh, pretty much uh, uh, very hard uh, to access areas outside the Khartoum city. Uh, and I will talk about that as we go along. Uh, our estimate is that approximately there are 3,500 uh, Indian nationals and about 1,000-odd uh, PIOs in Sudan. Uh, as I said, these numbers are approximate numbers, uh, and it is our effort to put uh, as much specificity to those numbers as we can as we go along. Uh, and uh, some of these numbers uh, keep fluctuating, uh, depending or rather keep getting added depending upon who reaches out to the embassy, uh, considering that they are all scattered, uh, not just all over Khartoum city, but also in many parts of uh, Sudan. The pockets of concentration uh, are in Khartoum city and uh, its suburbs. There are also pockets in Amdurman, Al Fashar, Kasala, Port Sudan, etc., where uh, many of the Indian nationals are located. Uh, what we did was that as soon as the fighting broke out in Khartoum, uh, our embassy in Khartoum immediately alerted and one reached out to as many members of the Indian community as they could. As it turns out, they pretty much reached out to almost all of them, by and large. Two issued immediate advisories, both in Khartoum city as well as in Delhi. Three uh, created uh, a network of communication within Sudan, despite the challenges of uh, the network availability power availability to charge your network, charge your devices, uh, created a, a system, a group of network of communications through which they could, one, uh, pass on the information about the ongoing conflict situation to the members of the community, uh, two, advise them suitably uh, uh, not to take uh, avoidable risks, three, also keep them informed about the efforts of government of India underway uh, as part of Operation Kaveri to assist them and uh, bring them out of the areas where they were stranded. Uh, they also, uh, embassy also initiated an online registration process, which naturally had its challenges because, as I said, the, uh, the network availability and the power outages combined together uh, create a situation that online networks sometimes don't run fully well. Uh, 